Hello everyone, this is Freddie from AWOL Studios and today I'm going to actually show people who are extremely new to Unreal Engine how to simply open a door and how to close it. Now, this is a very simple way of doing it and of course with the Unreal Engine there's a lot of ways to accomplish this but that's going to take a lot of time. So this is really easy. So I'm going to assume if you're watching this you have possibly the starter content and if you don't have it Get on the dashboard for Unreal and get it. Then you're going to have the same door here, which is called the SM underscore door. It's your static mesh. So we're just going to bring that and drag it out here, okay? I'm just going to put a little light here to put more visual on it. Now, before we go do anything, there's something that we must do first. We need to give it a, a command, an action. A function to call upon when we go into blueprinting so what you do is you go up here and then you go into your settings go into your project settings all right and we are going to look for input now let me just kind of scroll up here so it's going to be an action mapping so I already made mine and I made it the interact. So just for the video, I'm going to make another one. And I'm going to call this one interact test one. Now I'm going to assign it a key value. So let me get in there. Okay, so let me minimize that. Get it open here, okay. So I'm just going to see, let's see my keyboard. What button do I want? Um, I'm just gonna click zero on my keypad. You guys can put it wherever you want. Now I just created an input for my blueprint, something to call upon, which I'm gonna get into. Now, this door has nothing on it. So if I actually go and play it, it's literally just a prop, it's standing there. Nothing, zero. So we gotta give it life. How we are going to accomplish this is with matinee, okay? So matinee is, think about it this way. It's old school Gumby animation. That's the best way to, to really say it, but you can really do some crazy cool stuff in matinee. So how do you get there? best thing to do is to click on the prop that you want to rotate or move whatever you want click on it go right here to add matinee legacy you're gonna get this timeline up here I strongly recommend to minimize it kind of get your screen to fit a little bit and then once you're in here scroll down with your mouse now you can see the timeline so from here is start obviously it's at 0.0, .0. And then your end you don't want to make a door open take five seconds realistically a good one second or just before will be fine so now I'm gonna explain some of the basics of this matinee here so this is your timeline the black key here you pretty much can control your time to see where everything is going the colors over here are pretty much like your begin and your end in a simplified version now. We can go into all these crazy things later. But for now, we're just going to go into the simple stuff. So, I have my door. I'm going to drop this down a little bit. I'm going to click on the door again. I'm going to bring this back up. I'm going to go into this area right here and I'm just going to right click. And I'm gonna go to add new empty group. And I'm gonna name it door. Now, if you see on the bottom left, the door changed from being a static to a movable object. Another shortcut is if you are on your prop, simply come over here and hit it to movable. But if you follow what I'm saying, it will do it for you. So we have a door. Now we see we have a little camera. So what we need to do is we need to go into this and right click again. We're going to add a movement track. 
So once we add a movement track, you're going to get a little triangle right here. So that triangle is going to depict right here, right in its current position. So I'm going to take the slider, I'm going to move it to the end. I'm not going to do anything yet. I'm going to come back here and I'm going to hit E or the rotation, whatever you're used to, and I'm just going to rotate the door. Doors usually open in a 90 degree. So once that is done and I got the door where I wanted it to, I'm simply just going to hit add another key. So now if I go back, I have a start and an end key. So if I kind of come down here and I hit play now, you can see the door opens. All right, so now we have the, you know, the motion of it. Now we're done here, we're done. So let me make this a little bit bigger. So we created an empty group and we named it door. We created a motion track or a movement track, sorry. And now we, we have some points here, some keys to control the matinee animation. So now we are done. We're gonna save that, yes. So now we have a door. Here's what I always recommend to do, but you don't have to do it. This is your matinee symbol right here. Keep your files organized, name it, because it's gonna make it so much easier. Uh, test door, perfectly fine. And then I usually put them right above the door. Okay, so now we are missing something. We need to start programming it for blueprinting and setting it up. So in order for this door to work, I must have some kind of trigger. That's why we're gonna use the box trigger. So what's gonna happen here, and once my character collides with this box, it's gonna allow me to begin an event. And this particular event is simply opening a door. So what I would always recommend to do is to try to get this box trigger um, to kind of fit the door as much as possible without going too crazy. If you have multiple doors next to each other, you, you wanna keep it really tight. So realistically, this is a good fit for the door to go in and out. So now we have that. Okay, so we're gonna get into the blueprinting now. So while I have my box trigger selected, which you will know because you just dragged it out and it's right here on your top right hand. We are gonna go into your blueprints and we're gonna go to open level blueprints. While this opens, I usually leave it right here and I'm gonna just don't mind all this other stuff. So while I'm in my blank area here, remember I still have my box highlighted because if you don't have it highlighted, this will not work. Right click, we are gonna add an event for the trigger box. The event is gonna be a collision and we're gonna do add on actor begin overlap. Click that one, just move it up here. Right click again, going to add event for trigger box again, collision again, but add on actor end overlap. Okay, while I'm here, I'm gonna click my matinee symbol, and I'm just gonna leave that alone, but I'm just gonna click it. So now I need to do something. So if you remember in the beginning of the video, we created an input key. So our input key, if you literally type the word action, all the ones that we created are gonna be right here. So I'm gonna pick my interact button and I'm gonna put it here. So now we're giving the door a little code without C++ in it. Blueprinting is pretty awesome. I love it and makes things just a little bit easier. 
So now we have our begin and we have our end overlap. So we need to call some things to make it work. So when I press for me, whatever the key that I assign, which mine is nine, yours is whatever you put it to when you set up your input key. So when I press it, I need to do something. So I'm gonna drag it out and I'm gonna type the word gate. And then I'm gonna connect be, uh, begin to open and to close. I know this sounds redundant, just think about it. If I hit my nine, I wanna enter a gate. What is it? Well, I wanna open something and I simply wanna close it. So begin and end, open, close. But I have an animation through the matinee that I wanna call upon too. And I wanna make the animation flip flop. So how can I do that? Well. Unreal is pretty awesome and they gave it a really simple name. Drag out from gate and write flip, flop, literally flip flop. So I have everything here. Now if you remember, I click the matinee symbol. It's highlighted, it's highlighted test door. I'm gonna right click it here and I'm gonna create a reference to that test door. So pretty much what we're doing is we're taking something that we created on the Gumby matinee to the blueprint and we're putting it all together to make it work. So this little thing has the data from that door opening with the keys and the timeline. But I need to call something for it. And this is a real simple one. Drag it out, play. You want the door to be able to close? Drag another note out, reverse. So obviously A is the first letter, so obviously I want it to play. Reverse, B is the second, there you go. So what this is really saying is once I go into that trigger box, I press my input key, it's gonna allow me to go through a gate where I can begin the overlap, which is opening the door. If I'm in the collision box and I hit the same button again, it's gonna reverse my animation and it's gonna close it. So. That is here. Let me just teach you guys another little trick. If you click your mouse off and you drag it, now hit the word C, you're going to get a comment section. I will personally tell you that making sure that you stay organized in your blueprinting screens will make things so much easier for you when you get a lot more involved in it. So I'm going to put it here, test, oops, sorry, test video. And as you can see, I got Test Expo for other for other things, but I'm gonna leave it right here just to show you, and I'm gonna compile it, and I'm going to save it. And then I'm gonna teach you guys some other tricks too to give it some sound. So if I go and I play from here, let me just get that, oh, sorry. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the door, and I'm gonna hit my number nine. And it opens, and it closes, and it opens. And it closes. See? So now you have a door that's fully operational. Now, if I go on this side, as you can see, the door just pretty much whacked me in the face because we set it up to open from in here and not back here. So, obviously, if I wanted to open it, I would have to move out of the way. So, that's just a basic, 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 basic way of, of doing it. So let me just kind of exit out of here, get back into my screen, and I'm gonna go back into my blueprints. I'm gonna go back to my level blueprints, and I'm gonna go back to my test video. So if you wanted to add sound to your door, it's really easy to do and you can also do this in matinee as well and you have a lot more control of the sound in matinee than here but like I said this is absolutely beginner the rest you guys are gonna have to learn to just jump in there and have fun so go to any of your play or reverse doesn't matter and type play sound at location 
drag your uh, reverse to the same thing. Now, sounds. If you don't have any sounds, yeah, you can go buy them, but use a test sound just to make sure it all works. So I, I don't even know what I have here. Let me just see. A lot of sounds, a lot of sounds, a lot of sounds. Did I name it a slam? Um, nope, I don't like that one. So, oh, sounds like crap. Let me just see here. Okay, so I'm gonna use this one that sounds like a door that's been rusty. So I'm just going to compile it, I'm going to save it. You're more than likely not going to hear this on my end because I'm using my, my headset. But if I go in here and I hit the door, I can hear the sound once I activate and I can hear the sound again once I close it. So let me go back and recap this here for you. Get out, go back into this right here. So we took a door just like this that has no information into it we made a matinee which I can go back in here really quick for you we gave it a timeline and we gave it uh, pretty much start and end points for the animation which was if you remember close door as it normally would look and then to open the door so once we made our matinee, we dragged our trigger box to it and we went into our level blueprints and we gave it some information. We created this in the very beginning. Once my character collides with this box, I can call the gate function to take the matinee animation and control it. Simply by hitting whatever button you assign, it will open and it will close and every time you hit open or close if you drag play sound at location whatever sound file you have will play every time you hit it so thank you guys very much for watching the video I hope it helps if there's something that I missed simply let me know and I'll go maybe more into detail uh, for you but this is a very 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 let's just say it a noob learning way to do it do I do this in my my game sometimes yes other times no I, I do a little bit a little bit different but when I first started doing all this stuff that's that's something that I've actually came across <clears throat> and kind of really figured out so this will work on any Unreal Engine platform that you are using doesn't matter what it is it's simple matinee basic blueprints, simple key function. Freddie from AWOL Studios, thank you very much. And if you need help with anything else, just let me know.